two, one. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio Workshop video. As Greetings. always, I'm here with Mad Zuri. And we're going to go over some different circuit builds. We have some greens, reds, blues, um, primarily red builds, but these are uh, some Zuri builds, these ones over here on the left. And I will let him cover these here at the beginning because he may drop out. We're having some uh, connectivity issues and yeah, I'll let, let you get right okay. into it. Yeah, this is one I've developed a lot for the online servers for best UT UPS optimizations and really high productivity bonus and speed. So it's really compact, really fast, and isn't really bad for your CPU. Also, I wanted right. these to be tileable in both directions. I guess the correct word is tessellation. So you can put these pretty much in any combination yeah. you want together, and there's enough room here for a robo port. And it's, it's as easy as right, yeah, just popping them down. It's like my little Lego set for circuits that I've used a lot, actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's great. So I've grabbed the blueprints here just so I can show people. Um, the robo ports are optional. That's why they're not in this blueprint. But there's room. So this will tile. Yeah, it'll tile up and down. It'll tile side to side if you just overlap the beacons like so. Um, and on my screen, the video. The only reason that parts of these are red is just because like the robo ports and the random power pull is in the way of where it would place. Um, but they do tile up and down all three of these builds, and uh, it's the production is actually I think these are only like the only things on in the base. And if we open production, I mean, we're making 1.2 thousand green circuits a minute, and I think that's just from this. I don't think we have any other green circuits on in the base. It's also not on continu continually for some reason. Um, well, it's because it's hitting its, uh, its max in the network, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're out producing the demand for, for these other builds, which is crazy because blue circuits take a lot. So, um, yeah, I mean, we don't know the exact production numbers, like, for these, but we can, you can look at the production here, the one minute, 1.2k green about 2 10-ish red a minute and about 60 to 62 blues a minute with with just this like that this is just one little stamp and you can just tessellate stamp it however many times you want up down left right and uh really really great builds you've done here Zuri thanks so so yeah, yeah, guys, just speed in the beacons and productivity in the machines, just to clarify, and there goes Zuri. <laughs> um, I'm glad we got those done, so he can join back if he wants, or if not, uh, he can stay in voice. It's really weird. I uh, can see you moving around while we go I over. I just can't move. That's really weird. One of our internets is acting up. I'll reconnect. Go ahead and explain the others, I guess. I'll be back. Okay. So he's joining. Uh, here's one really, really simple and standard, guys, that I just threw together. And, and yeah, I mean, it's pretty much as straightforward and standard as you get. I think most people have probably seen this. You have your cable machines here, the output. Um, these could go in the... Like, you can rearrange the belts. The cable could go in the middle, stuff on the outside. Um, but these output, the ratio is one cable machine to eight red circuit machines if you haven't moduled anything. So that's what we have here. These grab it, we output the reds in the middle, and then we have uh, circuits and plastic go down the middle as well. We have our copper coming in here, and I will turn this on for a second. I think our power can probably handle it just to demonstrate, but this will work. And me and Zuri discussed before the video a quick note that, you know, I was asking about you know, how would we expand this for like red belt or blue belt? And Zuri had a good point to, instead of doing that, because if you expand it too far, you just can't really, the resources can't keep up and stuff, to just stamp it, right? This tessellates as well. You can share this uh, this copper belt 
essentially. So if I take this, uh, you can stamp it down like I have here on my screen and it'll just stamp perfectly. It's better to just have multiple of these. Yeah, I believe it's a lot better just to build lots of these as opposed to trying to extend this and add more cabling and it just gets a mess. Yeah, it just, it doesn't work out too great. And then down here, we have a logistics one non-beaconed. I, uh, if you're not going to go with beacons or, you know, you, you aren't there yet, I really like this design. It's kind of like the octagon fist sandwich design, whatever you want to call it. It's been adapted, but um, the only reason it's not on is I have this inserter turned, but there we go. So you have your request chests in the middle here, your inserters, you have your passive providers output on the sides and your little request for copper and this should support um, the ratio is still the same two four six eight and the power poles work out perfectly um you only need four of them to power this entire thing um this is this one here is just to power the one below it and and there you go i mean this works really well it looks nice for logistics it uh it just works quite well and blueprints for all of this we're going over will be in the description guys and then last, we have this one down here that really me and Zuri, neither of us like this. Uh, it's pretty much this build above, but with belts. You can do it with belts. Um, you can run both on the outside if you want, or there's different belt configurations. But if you want to do this type of thing with belts, you can. It's just, I don't know. I mean, for one, it doesn't really look that good. And I think, I mean, we just don't really like it, but <laughs> thought we should show it. Just for demonstration. Alright, it'll work. We just don't think it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, that counts for something. That definitely counts for something. So, you can see this just goes around undergrounding because of the inserter. And, uh... And there you go. So, you know, here's different builds. You know, there's even more ways to do it, probably. These are some kind of more popular ones that we know work. And, uh... And yeah, as always, the links in the description for all of these builds we've gone over. And yeah, if you plan to do beacon, circuit, anything, I highly suggest these ones that we did. They're, they work great. We use them in the Earth map, and they just tile, tessellate perfectly. Production is insane. I mean, two circuit machines producing over a thousand circuits a minute is pretty crazy. So, that... That, I think, does it, unless unless you have anything else to add in regards to these or anything else, Zuri? Uh, nope. Otherwise, these are really fun to, to invent, too. Especially to make them tessellation. Ah, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, definitely, definitely fun to mess around with these. So, you know, if you guys have any designs to, you know, that you've come up with for this or anything else, do post them down in the comments. We'd love to take a look. And uh, always interesting to see people's experiments and, and setups. But, but yeah, I believe that'll do it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found this helpful. Any feedback of any kind, do leave down in the comments. And again, blueprints in the description. We will Later. catch you next time.